Girl, this project is way too advanced for someone like you. That was the first thing Maya heard the moment she stepped into the innovation lab at Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. The words hit harder than the cold air blowing from the vents. A couple of students snickered behind their laptops. One of them added, Yeah, let's be real. Engineering ain't exactly your lane. Maya didn't flinch. She just adjusted her twisted bun, held her tablet tight, and walked to her station. She'd heard versions of that sentence her whole life, in classrooms, in internships, in meetings where folks acted like a black woman couldn't possibly understand circuits or coding. That day, she presented her idea, a compact medical device designed to help detect early oxygen drop in seniors. Before she got through her second slide, Professor Whitlock held up a hand. Maybe try something simpler, Maya. Leave the complex algorithms to the students who can actually handle them. The room chuckled. Her fingers tightened around the clicker, but her voice stayed calm. Thank you, Professor. I'll keep working. Across the room, a freshman black girl met her eyes and gave a small nod. I see you. Weeks passed. While others partied, Maya was in the basement workshop soldering wires, rewriting code, testing prototypes until her eyes burned. She wasn't trying to prove them wrong, she was trying to prove her grandmother right, the woman who always said, Baby, your mind is a blessing they can't measure. Then came the Rhode Island Innovators Expo. Crowded hall, bright lights, judges with sharp eyes. The host tapped the mic. And the winner of this year's Innovation Impact Award goes to a pause. Maya Thompson for developing the Life Breath Sensor, the first student-built device approved for statewide clinical trials. The room erupted. Phones flashed, and the same classmates who told her she wasn't smart enough stood frozen. Professor Whitlock stumbled toward her, smile suddenly warm. Maya, incredible work. Maybe we can, she cut him off with the softest smile. Professor, I guess complex algorithms were my lane after all. Outside the expo hall, the freshman girl ran up breathless. Miss Maya, do you think I could build something like that someday? Maya knelt down, placed a hand on her shoulder. Baby, listen, never let small minds tell you the size of your intelligence. You hear me? They both looked back at the building glowing behind them. Maya whispered one last line, the one her grandma taught her. Respect the gift God put in you because nobody else can define it. Subscribe and show some love in the comments. More value and blessings on the way.